Okay, so you may already notice this that since February 4th of 2020, you're not able to see the service provider and other network dimensions in Google Analytics. I found this very frustrating because for me, these metrics were actually quite important. And I found a solution of how to actually very easily get these dimensions back to your Google Analytics account. And I will quickly show to you in this video how to, how to do it. Okay, so after the 4th of uh, February 2020, you will only see this not provided, not set, sorry, service provider here. For example, if we change the date, you probably see this, the same view in your Google Analytics account. So only not set. So let's get, for example, the service provider dimension back into your Google Analytics. To do it, you would need to register and use this, this website, ipmeta.io, right? And it's completely free forever. And you just need to sync up here, providing your email. I already did, did this, so I will skip this step, okay? After that, you simply go to your dashboard here and you create a new key. You just simply provide a name and your domain and create it. I already did this and I have this in here. So you can, you know, view your app API and you just, you know, copy it to your notepad and leave it for later. Okay, so after that, you want to go into your Google Analytics account and into the admin section, right? And now you navigate to the property settings in here and you go to the custom dimensions. Okay, and what we will do now is we will create three custom dimensions. The first one is IP Meta service provider, IP Meta network domain, and IP Meta network type because these three network dimensions are actually missing right now in Google Analytics, but we will create a custom dimensions for them. So you just create them, put in the same name as in here, and change the scope to the session. It will be in default, it will be hit, but change it to session and check this active option, you know, and save it. And do the same for these three dimensions, right? So you just click, simply click new dimensions, you put your name, you change to session, and create that's it okay so just create these three dimensions okay and next step it will be adding a script code into your website and it all depends on your configuration of google analytics if you're using google tag manager you just simply copy and paste this after your google analytics code right so you just copy this i will leave this code in the description of this video so you can easily copy it and paste it after Google Analytics code. You need to replace this API key with your own key, which you can find in here, right? So you simply copy this and paste it in here. And now you just simply copy this script and place it after your Google Analytics account. If you're using WordPress, you can use a plugin to simply add this script after your Google Analytics code. Okay, so after you do that, what you need to do is when you configure your IP Meta installation, you will have to select the dimension index here for the three dimensions that we just created in Google Analytics. So remember what index number is for each one of them in your dimensions, right? So for provider is one, for network domain is two, for network type is three. And then you just select it in here. So provider is one, right? network domain is two, and type is three, and that's it. After you do that, you just go into your Google Tag Manager account and navigate to variables section, and you scroll down to the user-defined variables, and you will have to create three new dimensions in Google Tag Manager. So as you can see here, I've got three of them already created. The naming doesn't matter actually. So it's IP meta type, IP meta domain, and IP meta name, right? So let's go into one of them and see how they look. So you need to select the data layer variable from this section, data layer variable, when you create a new variable, and you just type value as a data layer variable name, right? So it's exactly like this, type value, okay? Naming doesn't matter that much. The domain, the data layer value is domain value and name is name value, right? So we create these three dimensions by clicking, of course, here, 
selecting a data layer variable and putting your name in here and name in here. Okay, so you need to create these three custom variables. Okay, so after you do that, you go to the triggers and we will create a trigger to launch this. I already have this trigger configured in here. So let's just see how it's built and simply a custom event. So you select a custom event here in the trigger type and you put your event name, which is exactly written like this, right? So be careful, copy this exactly how it's done in here and just save your trigger. Okay, after that, you go to your tags and you create a special tag to fire this and send this data to Google Analytics. I already have this tag so that we won't waste time creating it. Okay, and here it is. So it's a Google Analytics Universal Analytics tag, which you can, of course, select in here while creating a new tag. It's this one, of course. Okay, and you leave page view as a track type. You select your Google Analytics settings. You know, I, got, I have it as custom dimension in here, but you can just place your ID in here. An um, important thing is to check this enable overriding settings in the tag. Okay. So after that, you go to the custom dimensions, you expand this section here and you just replicate what I have in here. And by that, I mean, you know, put index one, index two and index three here and select your dimensions, your variables that we just created in the variables section here into, you know, each one of these indexes, right? So for index one, as we can see in the Google Analytics, index one is a service provider. So this one is the IP name, right? You just select it from your dimensions. You could name them differently, so, right? But you can search for them in here. And same to other dimensions, okay? So it will just send this variable data into this index, custom dimension index, and into this one and to this one, right? So you just do it like that. And you select your triggering, which was our trigger that we just created for from custom event, IP meta loaded. And actually that's it, right? So you just save this tag and publish it or preview the changes. I will just go into preview mode uh, just to show you if the tag actually fires up on my website. Okay, so this is the website where we implemented it and I'm in the debug mode. And as you can see, this tag fired. And if we expanded this, there is the configuration. But if you go to the data layer, you will see that this was data was actually sent. So the name value, which is the network name from Google Analytics is this, right? It's a Polish actually network provider. The domain, domain value is this one and type is this, right? So it's populated and it's sending the data into Google Analytics, which is great. Okay, so this is how you can get network dimensions back to your Google Analytics account in like five minutes. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel and see you in my other videos. Bye.